Nick Cannon is in the studio with us today. Always a lot going on in yeah. his life. Uh, Nick, uh, last time, well, back in your early days, we used to call him Goldie. I called him Goldie. You know, Nick got Goldie's TV, back. Because Nick, had, he had the TV show, and he was known for laying him out. And then one day, I turned on the TV, and Nick fell in love with a woman and got booed up. Hey, gigolos get lonely too. <laughs> uh, Morris Deck said it the best. <laughs> I like the old school reference, bro. I, I like that. I'm giving him the side eye right Why? now. Why? Oh, you don't want to do on. this. Oh! oh. 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 You don't I mean, you know, do there, there's already the word out there that he could be booed up with Chili right now. Oh, who, I, who I think about would that. be who yeah. I think would be so. I think there would be a cute couple. She is an amazing woman. Yeah. Yeah. But, but go ahead, stick to the the politics. Go ahead, give, us, oh, give, us, yeah. the, give us the she's political statement. But yeah. I'm. She's incredible. I would yeah. be so lucky to be booed up with her. Yeah. Uh. But that's not the space that I'm in in my life right now. So you back to Goldie for real? Goldie is in full effect. Oh my man, that's who I know. I, the I Goldie, know Goldie, Goldie, Goldie Turban. I don't, this know point. I don't know Nick Cannon. I know Goldie. I know Goldie. Pimp half and part time <laughs> activist. That's what I know. There it is. Part time pimp, part time activist. You can no. do both. Yeah, Goldie. <laughs> So that one, that myth is out the window. How is it trying to handle, you know, you're, and you're a father now too, so yeah. you got to balance. Now that, you that's, got where, to, that's where it gets serious. Cause right. Because I actually do, uh, I'm a father first and foremost. Yeah. But uh, I, at the do same. Your girl, do, your girls, do your kids understand what you do? Yeah, well, in, in what sense? <laughs> well, not, not being golden. Oh, okay. You know, but you know, <laughs> they, don't, they don't know that Your father is, uh, uh, you know, he's this very famous entertainer. Yeah, you know, because my kids are just at that age now where they, they love Nicholas. So, oh, for real, so, so when they see me on there and they uh, just like every little kid think I own Nickelodeon. Well, you kind of almost do. <laughs> that's Daddy's channel. <laughs> for real? Right, right, right. Let's watch Daddy's so channel. So that's the right. time you get more props than Mariah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy has a channel, mommy. <laughs> yeah. We're going to Daddy's award show. <laughs> Well, good. You seem to handle it very well, man. How are you handling everything else that's related with that? Because you know, it's a very you 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 were in a very it's funny visible man. relationship. Yeah, that's so the speak, only thing. You know? Everybody got to deal with it. I th and I think I don't have to deal with as much as most people actually have you to. Think so? I just it just so happens that everybody know my business. But <laughs> yeah. but every I don't have no baby mama drama or none of that stuff. It's it's all love. They we, make it seem like it. But that's crazy though. But if you see us and how we interact, yeah. we good. The media likes to jump in to and speculate. It look like y'all sometimes still together to me. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. No, I'm just saying, brother. Hey, she is in a happy relationship. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. That, I'm going to leave it alone. The relationship with the, with the soon-to-be stepdad, I mean, how is that relationship? Well, he cool. You got a really? billion. I'm cool with every billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't you make billionaires your right? enemy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you funny. <laughs> Now, okay, okay, so you got all this going on. You're a daddy, you're an activist, uh, uh, you, you're still doing the TV shows. Yeah, and you yeah. Got, how many TV shows do you have now? Uh, currently, we got about a do dozen in production uh, across different networks from, you know, NBC, MTV, Nickelodeon, uh, BET, like, you know. We, when we do you have. shoot the MTV stuff? It's like it's always, it, it seems like it's always been on. We shooting it right now. You see the camera right there. <laughs> But the show is always, I, it seems like it's always been on. Like, I don't even, how many years has the MTV jump been? Uh, Wild and Out is a decade old. God So we got dang. over 100 episodes. j Max still trying to get on there. I Ooh. am. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, now we're doing the Wild and On tour show, so we're going right. all over the world. So we we gonna, we definitely going to have to bring it to H-Town. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, you come out there and oh, freestyle yeah. with us one time. I go out. How do you keep it, how do you really <laughs> keep up this? You know you got sick last time yeah, you had yeah. a schedule like this. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? But it, to me, you still doing the same thing. You, you know what? You stopped one because you was doing radio too. That was now morning radio, and my hats off to all y'all. That that almost killed me literally, just because I wasn't getting any sleep. But people don't understand that y'all being here, you know, before <laughs> before the rooster, right? You know right. What I mean? Four a.m. and then it don't stop. When you go out with air at ten o'clock, you guys got stuff you got to do all right. throughout the day, and I didn't I didn't really understand that schedule, and I wasn't. I wasn't giving myself time to, you know, your body needs sleep. Your body needs water. Like, all these things that I was just taking for granted. And, uh, you know, it ran me down in a bunch of different ways. And, you know, I, but that's also, I don't know how much of that 
actually was the cause because I was diagnosed with lupus nephritis, which is an autoimmune condition that Ooh. that that's just you know that could have always always been in my system and yeah. you know the the schedule just you know brought it to a head. So I honestly feel like you know because I got diagnosed with that, I'm healthier now than I've ever been in my life. So, and I so was how you knock J Mac out? And, <laughs> Come on, man, we gotta go to the gym, man. <laughs> so how you two seventy five easy right now? I know you probably pushing like three something. I can. Uh, see, oh, oh, we did it. You got it right now. Ah, I feel good. Okay. <laughs> he can't. We got to jump downstairs. Right, we go let's, to the gym let's, downstairs. We going downstairs. How, do you, how, do you, how are you handling the lupus? I don't uh, even remember ever hearing about this. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I'm I'm, not, I'm one of, you know, uh, a national ambassador for it. Uh, you got to eat a certain way. You definitely. Got medicine you got to take. When I got sick the first time in 2012, I had, for like almost a year, I had to be on what they call a renal diet, which was Ooh. like no sodium, no process. A certain kind of vegetables Ooh, yeah. just because I had to reboot my system. I had to go through like a lot of chemo and all of that type of stuff. Ooh, it, it got really serious. Had some, you know, pulmonary embolisms like blood oh, clots. Oh, more sick than we yeah, knew. Yeah, oh, we, we didn't know none of this. People it. didn't know, but okay. it it got it got uh, really serious at the time. But that got me on the right track because literally my doctor said, all right, you can die next year or you can live till 80-something. What you want to do? I was like, I'll oh, take the 80-something. Wow. So I mean, it's just listening, and and you know we all gotta you know put our health first, and and interestingly enough, everything from what's going on in uh, politics and in the community, and even with our health, all of that is it comes back to the common denominator of valuing yourself mm -hmm. and knowing who you are as a person mm -hmm. and knowing who we are as a people because once you really know who you are and know the 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 kings and king uh, and queens and the power your melanin and all of that stuff it makes you it just reconditions your mindset to say yo i care about me and i care about my fellow man so we're gonna rock and you know operate on this earth together in the healthiest and the wellest way we could possibly do it